and welcome to another Let's Watch slash Talk video where we took the news trailer from Movie Gamer Show. And today we got a trailer for the editions of, well, I don't know if you can guess, uh, off of the team, Bloober team, right? Uh, yeah, it's Layers of Fear. They're remaking, or I guess you could say, yeah, it's remaking pretty much of Layers of Fear 1 and Layers of Fear 2. And that includes the DLC for both games. And so we're going to check out the trailer of the editions and we'll talk about it after. So let's go. And I'm very excited for this one. Well, there we have it, everybody, and uh, yeah, the deluxe edition, we got the regular edition, which comes with the base game, digital art book, digital soundtrack, uh, the extra content, right? Uh, but the base game right here is pretty much all the DLC, like I said before, layers, layers of fear 1 and 2. Uh, but this is the deluxe edition, so five more dollars, because the base game, the remake, with all the DLCs in the first two games, it goes for $30. This is on June 15th. And for the deluxe edition, which is the quote unquote special edition, right? The five for five dollars more for thirty-five dollars, you get the digital art book and you get the digital soundtrack for yourself. Um, so yeah, I mean, it looks good. It looks good. And I'm, the reason why I'm very excited for this one is because um, I got introduced with Bloober Team. I believe it was this game, or I think I might be thinking of a Blair Witch. Okay, so whichever it, might, whichever it one may be, both are really good, and I loved it. I love playing horror games. I'm a big fan of horror games, and I just love... One, okay, this is one of my biggest things. If you guys can relate, let me know in the comments below, and let's talk about it, because I just love, love this feature in games, and I can't stand it enough, especially on this video. I'm going to say it right now, and that is transitions. I love, love transitions, especially in horror games. So, like, so an example I can give you, there's a cabin. You go into the cabin, and then there's a uh, basement down below. You have to go down the ladder, right? And so your character starts going down the ladder. But when they go down the ladder and they turn around, they're in a completely different spot. They're not down the basement. They're somewhere else. This feature definitely goes takes me back to the Evil Within 2. So there's moments, for example, like what I just said. So you would go down the stairs or down the ladder, my bad. And then when you turn around and get off the ladder, boom, you're in a you're in a, in a preschool or in a school in general. Like what? How did you get there? Or you're just in a room that led down into a classroom, right? And then you you look around, you walk through the door of the outside, out the door of the classroom, and boom, you're in. It's a big school. You see the hallways, the lockers. You know, that's insane. And so, Layers of Fear has quite a bit of transitions and or moments that are pretty spooky. Um, and it's a, it's a, I think it's a unique type of game. Uh, it's one of those. Uh, games where you just walk around and interact with minor things not a lot of things just minor things but it's very very powerful when it comes to sounds and well imagery so sounds imagery and transitions when it comes uh, around the room when it comes to let's say you go into the kitchen and then a bunch of things start flying everywhere or just different moments like that similar moments to that and now it says horror reimagined that is insane just seeing layers of fear one and playing layers of fear one was i had a great time with it and seeing that reimagined and the, with it come, when it comes to the graphics and or let's say different moments that they change up maybe they tune around right and there's also puzzles obviously that's one big thing about uh, layers of fear not one big thing but like some little things you get to do which is puzzles and I believe it was the first one. There was a one puzzle in the first one where you had to go. It was so confusing. You had to go from room to room. But these rooms were going through bookcases. And then you had to answer the phone. It was it was a whole thing. But it was awesome. It was awesome. And I can't wait for the game to release. Again, June 15, guys. 
uh, and Layers of Fear 2 as well as there. And I get, like I said before, DLC. There's DLC content for both games. And I think the newest DLC that's going to come out for the first one will be released there. I believe it was that, or if it's the other way around, a new DLC for Layers of, for Layers of Fear 2. But they're both being reimagined for the new, I guess, the new systems and or just new graphics, you know, because these are pretty, they are old enough where they came back and just reimagined these two games and or the graphics, right, and remade them and to, I guess, present in modern day, right? And it's going to be extra spooky now, given the fact that there's so many spooky games that have recently come out and or about to come out, like Alan Wake 2, right? And, and also recently we got uh, Resident Evil, right, that looks really, really good. So just now we're going to see Layers of Fear 1 and 2 looking really, really good, which I'm very excited. But I will say last thing is a bit odd on the release date, kind of. I mean, last year we did get around, literally around this time, June 5th, June, I think it was like the end of June, or I believe it was July, like in the month of July, did get one pretty big horror game, and that was The Quarry. I love The Quarry. And so, and I guess in June, we're getting Layers of Fear. I don't know if we're going to get another horror game. Uh, I mean, I guess you can count the Alien game that's going to be coming out, the Aliens game, right? Uh, but for right now, it's Layers of Fear, uh, June 15th. Mark your calendar, just guys. But yeah, I just want everybody that is going to be it. But can I just say this? And if they did this or they're doing this for Layers of Fear, I'm just crossing my fingers and hoping they do this for Blair Witch. Please, please, please do this for Blair Witch. I would be stoked and super, super happy. I think one of the scariest games I've ever played personally was Blair Witch. So I'm very happy. I would be very happy <laughs> if they announced that in the future, maybe at the end of the year. Um, you know, maybe, I guess, next year. I mean, is that too long? I don't know. But hopefully they did. Uh, they do upgrade that game because that, that game is... Um, um, but if they were to redo it, I think right now, a lot of people, there'll be like a lot of traction over it. And uh, I would love it. I would love it. So, but yeah, that's it, guys. Take care. Stay amazing. And I'll see y'all with the next video.